Hello guys and welcome to this video. Now I've got a really special watch in that watch roll there, but I wanted to highlight the packaging you get when you order a custom made watch, a special order custom made watch like the one in there uh, from my shop, which is svkwatches.ae. So if you're ordering a custom made watch, um, depending on the model and depending on the spec, you will likely receive it in this, just the same packaging as this. So I wanted to show everyone what uh, what's included uh, because there's a couple new things here. Uh, first off, I've started to, I've got some of these nice pouches made. I'm finding that though I've got, already got some good packaging, which I'll come to in these watch rolls, the, uh, there's a lot of other things I wanted to include. Like I wanted to include a nice cleaning cloth because you can never have enough of these. If we see the stickers are popular, everyone's, everyone's got a sticker. You can see all my suppliers stickers here. So of course I'm going to make my own as well. I'm, uh, I'm also going to include things like warranty cards in the future. So all of that stuff needs to go somewhere. I decided to get some branded sort of pouches made up. I'm also, um, these are also come in handy for extra straps that people like, or, you know, spare links, strap removal tools, all that kind of stuff. So uh, you will get obviously some branded goodies and a watch roll with a custom order. If it's a watch made from parts or special order parts and things like that, it needs to go somewhere and I couldn't just send it in an envelope. I have to put it in a decent case. And this, these are my uh, real leather watch rolls. And if, you, if only you could smell through the screen, the, the leather smells great. It lasts an awful long time without any um, damage to the stitching or the edges. I've had some of the sort of faux leather versions of these before and they fall apart after literally two uses. These guys do last um, a long time. You can buy these off my website too, which is svkwatches.ae. Obviously all the links to everything will be down below. Now let's look at the watch because this is this has been quite a long time coming. I made this for, for a client uh, I've got a good relationship with over in the Netherlands. Uh, his name's Marco. He's bought a watch from me before, but he really wanted to create something with this dial. So here it is. This is a Seiko Yachtmaster inspired sort of um, mod. However, it features a really quite interesting and rare dial. This is the SPB071. It's the 62 mass reissue um, sort of black to blue fade dial, which is similar to the Rolex James Cameron models. Um, however, Marco uh, spe specified some features which I've not done before on a client's watch. So he's mixed up a few styles here. So he's obviously gone for the deep sea inspired dial. Um, but then he's also kept a lot of true Yachtmaster characteristics, which I've not actually included in a lot of my other Yachtmaster mods. So let's have a look. The first thing you notice is the dial for sure. Uh, and there's so much to talk about just the dial alone. So let's have a little zoom into that. I have used this dial a few times before. It is quite hard to find. I did get this one from Watch Parts Plaza. Um, so you can get lucky on there. Sometimes you get them. They do often go out of stock, so expect to wait quite a while if you are looking for the same watch as this or a sim similar dial model. We have um, actually two colors on the loom, and here's a loom shot, so you can see what I mean there. We decided to stick with Mercedes hands, except uh, after some deliberation, decided on the orange second hand, which is more, I suggested more like a Seiko color way rather than the red hand that uh, Marco originally wanted, but I think the uh, the orange works as well, especially against the blue and the black fade, just makes it a little bit more fun. The um, case is a sub style case, but this is the slim sub style case. So you might have seen quite a few sub style cases before. Sorry, I've got to use one of my own cloths here because it is full polished. So I zoom out a little bit get it a better angle. So you can see the case is fully polished and the sides are always polished, but the tops of the lugs I polished for this build. So this is probably one of the only watches like this. Well, I'm, in fact, I'm sure this is the only watch that looks like this in the world right now. 
So a lot of time and effort's gone into taking a standard case, uh, subcase and then polishing the tops of the lugs. Over on the left, you'll see a, um, the, is that, that is actually Marco's other watch, the one he bought from me before. That is my SKX007 sub, and that included the same case as this, except that was the standard version, whereas this has now got the polished lugs. Now, I didn't realize this, but on the, on the actual Rolex Yachtmaster, the lugs are polished, the whole case is polished, and it has this, this sort of gear type crown. Uh, so we specified that as well. So you can't get closer to a Yachtmaster style. I mean, even the case size, I don't think the new Rolex is a 40, uh, new Yachtmasters are 41, but the actual, if you measured the, across the case, this case is actually 41. It is thicker anyway, but it hides it well because of the slim case, and that's from mod mode watches. Okay, the bracelet, oh sorry, the crown, and a few of the other parts, like the movement and so on, I got from Watch and Style. Um, the bracelet, I was planning to get from Watch and Style, but ended up getting from Namoki because uh, it was just out of stock, but it's the identical part. We have a ceramic silver Yachtmaster style bezel, that is from DLW. The crystal is from DLW as well, that's got clear AR. Um, it looks a bit blue there, but that's just because of the blue sky outside my window. Um, clear, clear AR on the crystal, always go for clear guys because you don't want to spoil a dial like this. And the chapter ring is from Watch and Style again, I believe, and that's got um, some markers engraved on it. So yes, they are a little hard to see, but it does definitely improve the overall use and legibility of the watch. So that's, t that's totally up to you. If you wanted to specify a plain one or one with brighter markers or anything like that, you can. Okay, so I think I've just about mentioned everywhere I got the parts from there. Um, let's have a look underneath. So if we flip the watch around, you've got Oh, I didn't mention the bracelet so much yet. The bracelet is, uh, this I think might even be the first time I'm using this bracelet. I've always been curious about it, but I've never dared use it just because it's quite flashy. It's got this polished center link, and this is the same as the typical bracelets I usually get. However, it's a bit hard to show you in this light. Here we go, that's a bit better. So it's got a polished center link. Um, in this design it will match the outer lug as well so it kind of makes more sense um, so the only downside of that is this part will definitely pick up scratches much more easily than the brush side or at least show them much more easily than the brush side but it does definitely fit this design especially in this kind of view looks almost obviously apart from the dial like the real Yachtmaster. Uh, S signed crown you can see this case profile there. Underneath, we've got a slim sapphire case back. That was from Watch and Style as well. And uh, it definitely helps an, a usually thick Seiko mod watch to become quite a lot thinner. If you wanted to go even thinner with this, um, you could go for a slimmer type of bezel and a flat crystal. But um, I don't believe these wear especially thick uh, and they don't wear that big either. So even if you've got a smaller wrist, it does, you can pull this off just fine. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it's a perfect balance of exactly what I like to do, which is take um, Seiko parts, uh, like original dials, rare dials, interesting dials, and put them into a high quality case that's inspired by something that we really, that is simply un unobtainable. So, Marco, I think, gets that, and he's picked out a really interesting model here, so I couldn't wait to show you all. What do you guys think? I think this is possibly one of the better mods I've done this year based on that dial. Um, you'll find some other examples on my channel and my pages. Don't forget to follow me at Seiko Mods Dubai on Instagram as well, because that's where I post most frequently and you'll see all the latest updates on uh, from my side. So thank you guys for watching. I'll leave you here on the left 
with a few of the clips to show you the parts on their own. And as we went together um, through the build process, this did take a long time. So if you really like this watch and you'd like to order your own one, um, expect quite a long wait. I think I think Marco waited best part of two to three months to uh, to get this because of the various delays and in, in you know finding parts and then having to polish the case and all of that but i did enjoy doing it and i would love to do it again um perhaps in a similar design maybe not exactly the same design out of respect but overall uh, it's a great watch thank you marco for for your trust again and uh, i hope you really enjoy wearing it as much as i enjoyed making it for you so thanks all hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.